Hi Breadcom Nagagalak po ulit ako na makasama kayo ngayong araw na to during our National Week of Prayer Gamitin po natin oras ito para tayo po ay magpray at um, mapagpray natin yung ating bansa especially ngayon pong state of calamity because of COVID-19 pandemic Gusto ko lamang po magbahagi ng maikling meditation at gamitin po natin tong inspiration sa ating pananalangin. Kasi ang tema po ng prayer natin ngayon ay about asking for the Lord's mercy. Yung nais ko pong ibahagi ay galing sa parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Kung may mga Biblia po kayo, Turn with me sa Luke chapter 18 at babasahin natin from verse 9 to 14. Let me read to you. Luke 18, 9 to 14. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray one a pharisee the other a tax collector the pharisee standing by himself prayed thus god i thank you that i am not like other men extortioners unjust adulterers or even like this tax collector i fast twice a week I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. I think napaka-importanting passage po neto ngayong National Week of Prayer. Dahil dito po sa passage na to, na-realize ko, when we exercise religion, we cannot receive mercy from God. Ito po yung nakita natin dun sa Pharisee na napakarelihiyoso at pinapasalamatan pa niya nung nanalangin siya kay God pinapasalamatan pa niya si God sabi niya, hindi ako tulad ng ibang tao na masama unjust mga adulterers hindi ako tulad nung tax collector tapos sinabi pa niya twice a week siyang nag-aayuno, nagfa-fast. So, madasalin siya. Dito ko po nakita na hindi po religious activity yung importante sa Panginoon. Hindi po kung gano'ng kabulaklak o kung gano'ng kahaba ang pananalangin. Kasi pwedeng ang mga ito ay ritualistic lang. On the other hand, yung tax collector, pinray niya yung isa sa pinaka-shortest but very deep and profound prayer. Very honest prayer, I would say. Ano yung prayer niya? God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And the way niya to pinray, ni hindi siya makatingin sa langit. No? Tapos, uh, nagsisisi siya, binibit niya yung dibdib niya, naghihinagpis siya, dahil siya yung makasalanan. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Ang mercy ng Panginoon ay hindi natin na receive through religion. Ito'y nare-receive natin 
when we humble ourselves, confess that we are a sinner, and ask for God's mercy. At ang mercy ng Panginoon, ibinibigay niya, according to the Bible, to those who are in Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, before we pray, let me ask you, why are we confessing our sins? Are we confessing our sins para mawala lang yung burden natin? Para makatulog lang tayo ng mahimbing? Or are we confessing our sins kasi aware ka, aware tayo na nagkasala tayo at yung kasalanan natin ay offensive sa Panginoon na hari ng mga hari at Diyos ng mga Diyos. Mga kapatid, ang tunay na confession ay may pagkukumbaba, may recognition na ang kasalanan natin ultimately ay offense against God. Si Eugene Peterson ay may isinulat na prayer sa kanyang devotional book, Praying the Psalms. At napakaganda ng prayer na to. Ang sabi niya, Merciful God, how dependent I am on your mercy. Everything I am and all I do falls short of your glory but still you do not condemn me gratefully I live in your grace and experience your forgiveness in Jesus Amen So at this point tayo po'y manalangin at uh, meron po tayong aawiting kanta awitin po natin to bilang isang prayer sa Panginoon Let this be our song of prayer today. Lord, we ask for you.